Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are gonna react to some creepy TikToks. Let's watch. This what the heck was that? Professional runner. Let's check that out. Whoa. Dude, look at that thing. It has no eyes. Let's see it in Let's see it running again. This guy is a professional runner who records himself running from one place to another. In one particular video, he captured something terrifying wow. while running. Wow. He's booking it. Oh my god. Dude, I was booked too. The video has gained over 28 million views with everyone trying to guess what this humanoid creature is. Some people say it's a skinwalker and others say it's a cannibal tribesman. Yeah. But after slowing the footage down, you can see he has big black eyes and very long arms. It might be face which paint. Which leads some people to believe it's an alien. Nah. What do you think? I'm going to say it was a cannibal and he was hungry. You know, while it's fun to uh, ponder if it was an alien or a skinwalker, I'm going to go either with a skinwalker or a cannibal tribesman. For sure. I just caught a fairy. A fairy landed on me. Fairies are real? Heck yeah, they are. Yeah. Got a fairy. I didn't know. While I was collecting eggs, a fairy landed on me. It's in my hand. I don't know about that. Magical. Hmm. Hey, try to move a little Yeah, I. <laughs> I love that game. That's what she said. And you know what? I, what was that? Oh, okay, James. I gotta look at that again. That's what she said. And you know what? I, what was that? I mean, it could be a dragonfly, but I don't know. Okay, James. You know, with all the cameras that we have, all the surveillance systems uh, installed in our house or homes, we see a lot of stuff nowadays. It's uh, making me question everything. Somebody smarter than me, please tell me what the hell this is. I don't have a clue, and I don't want to wake up dead in the morning. But it just keeps coming out the ground and stopping and coming, kind of like it pulsates a little bit. But it ain't hot, it ain't cold, it ain't like steam or nothing, it ain't got no smell to it, it's just there and it's just coming out of this one spot i don't know it looked like dry ice to me i wonder what that is though phosphorus gas some kind of lethal gas is leaking out of the of the earth it's the happening i hope it's not lethal am i tripping am i tripping you see that oh oh okay Can you not do that, please? What is that? Yeah, I'm leaving. Here are my hands. Did you see that? Did you see that? Here are my feet. Not moving. Here are my hands and my feet. Mom? What? Yeah, hold up. Hands and Rewind my feet. that. Yeah, I'm leaving. Here are my hands. Did you see that? Did you see that? Here are my feet. Not moving. Here are my hands and my feet. Mom? Wow. No. No. No way. 
As you can see, I put it back on his thing. I'm about to go lay back down, and I'm gonna hope to God that nothing does any weird because I feel like there's weird right there. But at the same time, it could be. Do you not have lights, sir? Turn on the lights. Oh God! Now look at me. I'm starting to sound like a fucking weirdo. You got weirdos and shit like that? I'm gonna take another shot. Hold on. <laughs> okay, move that. Do you see that? What? It's hard to. There's a lot of dust. There's a lot of orbs floating around. You. I don't know what to do. I'm also scared to show you guys my face because I look pretty f***ing ugly, but here you go. Yo, YOLO. What's good, bro? Bro. <laughs> bro. Are you good, bro? You good, bro? Do you see any f***ing strings? Did you guys see it move? And just two days later, it happens again. So for like a whole day, nothing has been going down and then this can happens okay there's nothing <clears throat> i even brought over somebody there and i don't know why the she's fast asleep i've been drinking a little bit maybe it's only when i get drunk but regardless dude that's really up you shouldn't be doing that you shouldn't be doing that you should not you should not be doing that please stop doing that okay? i hope the ghost is not okay. jealous stay there be chill Stop for a minute. That's crazy. What the heck? I'm gonna leave. <laughs> sorry, but I'm gonna leave. I'm really sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> Why does that person look like they're dead? They're just laying down there, lifeless. Is that even a real person? I have so many questions. He was recording a video of the full moon when this oh, happened. No. A machine operator named Zane uploaded a terrifying video of his co-worker Matt who was dropping off a bulldozer to finish his shift, when suddenly, he decides to record the full moon for his son when he takes his eyes off the road. This happens. What the hell? No. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Matt apparently runs over someone seen in the rear view camera, but when he turns around, there's no one there. You know what's hard about explaining these kinds of videos is that someone's always going to ask, where's the second angle? Where's the second camera? That is freaky. I wonder if something similar happened to him in the past. Some witchcraft rituals going on. I want to watch this again because I am confused as to is this an aerial footage? Are they on a helicopter? Doesn't look like it. It just looks like a little rock and grass. Maybe it's like little demons. Yeah, that footage just looks like somebody shot it with their phone and they're looking down at some rock. But could be little demons performing some satanic ritual. You never know. Why you should be careful when buying secondhand clothes. A pregnant woman working in Mindoro experienced something that would forever change her perception of the ordinary. As her child whimsically captured photos with her cell phone, she stumbled upon an image that defied explanation. In the photograph, there appeared to be a woman, her back turned to the camera, wearing an outfit identical to hers. 
What made this particularly unsettling was that the photo was taken inside her home, in front of a door, not a mirror. The woman in the it's photo a had long flowing hair, contrasting with the pregnant woman's neatly tied bun. Hmm. Compounding the mystery, the woman was certain she was the only woman in the house at that time, making the presence of another woman, especially one dressed identically, an impossibility. She shared the photo with her friend, who became deeply curious and started to probe into where the clothing came from, suspecting a possible link. It's interesting. They learned that the clothes were bought from a second-hand shop. You know, there's such tales as uh, doppelgangers or people that are... They look like you, and they sound like you, and they might be from a parallel universe, so I can believe that. Uh, a friend of mine who actually comments on here, he has a lot of good info, and I think he was telling me about something about entities uh, that might try to harvest your soul and whatnot. So shout out to uh, Abby for giving me some man, useful information throughout all my videos. Shout out to you, Abby. But yes, let's continue. Wow, that's a cyclops. What the... That's insane. Hey, Adrian, Adrian, Matko jedyna, tu jest zamknięte pomieszczenie. That's pretty cool. Ty tu gościu siedzi. W szacie. Jak jedno. Co to nogi? Ty zamurowali ty. It could be Nephilim. Anuki gods. You know, we're uncovering a lot of... Oh, what the... What was that? Looks like something was reaching out for him. Whoa. Was that a djinn? I gotta watch that again. Let me pause it at the right time. Wow. It's so hard to tell what that is. I'm pretty sure it's a gin. You guys have any ideas? Put it in the comments below. I collect haunted artifacts from various locations. Also, is that an orb? Anyway, I was recently interviewed by the Liverpool Echo. Where was the orb? I gotta, ch I gotta see. Anyway, I was recently interviewed oh, the by the Liverpool spot. Echo, okay, specifically it. regarding this haunted painting I recently acquired. It details a scene of Wigan Town Centre from the 1940s and allegedly the artist took his own life after creating this picture. The atmosphere in the house has altered since this was brought in and this morning just proves my theory this is haunted. He says ever since acquiring hmm. this particular painting he has noticed a strange change in the atmosphere of the house and just recently creepy paranormal events have started to occur. Early one morning, he is woken up to some banging noises coming from around the house, even though he is alone. Yeah, that, so that'll do it. So he decides to record as he goes to check it out. This is what he captures. Can you hear banging coming from downstairs? It won't be this morning. It's also uh, how many times you hear the, the knocking on, on the doors. Hello? It's usually a sign. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Oh my God. Hello? Hang on, let's watch that again. Oh my god. One more time. Hello? Crazy. Oh my god. Hello? Hello? Okay, at first I thought somebody was hiding behind and through that wine glass, but now that something popped up out of that furniture piece. Hello? And now I'm confused. Oh my god, what's going on? First, a glass drops on the floor all on its own. 
and then an object on the table moves before a creepy muffled voice can be heard. I didn't hear that voice. Hello? Oh, wow. I can't make out what it's saying, but it kind of sounds like a demonic voice talking backwards. Oddly enough, the creepy events seem to stop shortly I love after the it And nothing happens for a while. That is, until just a few days ago, when he was sleeping on the sofa and happened to wake up to some banging noises once again. Some bizarre things are going on in here. I fell asleep on the couch this afternoon. I can hear strange banging noises and there's like a child's fingerprints on the mirror. See, can you hear it? One, two. This the is the frame that previously door. caused us a bit of trouble. He finds a small handprint on the mirror that looks like it belongs to a child and hears a bang straight after. But as he looks around, he finds nothing there. He then decides to go back upstairs. But the noises just keep happening. So he ends up coming to check once more and sees something chilling. Watch. Oh, do you know, I can almost see my breath. It's gone icy cold in here. Freezing. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wow. Not only am I dealing with the candles blowing out on their own and the fucking cornflakes falling off, the cat's going The cat out. did not want any part of that. You all right, mate? What are you doing? There's nothing there. Oh, the cat sees something, all right. What the fuck? Don't go out there. Fuck, don't go. Stay here. I'm not following you out there. What was that thing? I don't know what on earth is going on in there. There was something today. on the ground that just Stay went into the here. kitchen. Don't go out there. Hold on. Don't go out there. Oh, don't maybe he has another Stay here. I'm not another cat. I don't know what on earth is going on in this house today. As you can see from those clips as well, the cat's acting really strange. He's been doing that for ages now. Looking around the room, darting back and forth like that. Then, as you could hear as well, there was like banging noise in the kitchen and both of them ran out there. When I've gone in after it, there's nothing there. I don't know what the hell is going on in this house. Hmm. There's been nothing for ages. Uh, nothing at all. But just today, th there's been an atmosphere as well. It's something's changed. I'm staying upstairs until my partner gets home because it's terrified me, to be honest. The candles blow out on their own and some objects fall off the table by themselves. And viewers also notice that you can see a shadow move just through the doorway. And the cats seem to be drawn to this direction, as if curious by the activity. One of the cats was acting strange, looking all around the room, as if it could see something unseen. Yeah, usually when you bring something that's cursed or haunted, the whole atmosphere of where you live or where you stay changes. So that could explain all the paranormal activity that's going on in this place. Doing this cabinet crown. And I think there's a squatter in this house. That's always dangerous. I think it's in here. Especially, especially in LA, the freaking Beverly Hills homes or whatever. Hello? Hello? Probably underground. Anybody here? Hello? Watch it be like secret doors that he can navigate through or she or whatever. I'm in the closet. <laughs> Crazy. Hello? Wow. What the heck is that? Hello?
Jeez. Oh, yeah, no. Who is it? Not in the basement. Nope. <laughs> What luck that the camera fell like that. Yeah, something's in that basement, and I don't want to find out. <laughs> All right. Three horror vids. Let's watch these compilations. Oh, okay. And I clip the idea. Ready for this jump scare. Dang, that was such a small elevator. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that sucks. Okay, keluar deh. Lari lagi. She is screwed. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate when that happens. My heart jumped out of out of my chest. El guardia del cementerio. Asegura que aquella mujer se aparece llorando sobre su tumba todas las noches. Al llegar el grupo de exploradores al lugar se dirigen a esa tumba, pero después de mucho tiempo no logran encontrarse con nada raro en los alrededores. Sin embargo, hay un momento so basically, de caminar. What's going on is that aterrador. these guys went to go check out a tomb of a crying woman. Mano, oye, oye. Yeah. Oye, oye. Hey, hola, mano. ¿Ah? Lucas, What was that? The tall shadow thing. Glowing eyes. Right there. Or maybe it's pareidolia. But it looks like a tall figure. You see the shoulders, the arm, the legs, the head, rounded head. Some glowing eyes. I don't know. I hope I'm right. No. What's up there? I didn't see anything. You guys see anything? Because I don't see anything. Yeah, where they uh, they highlighted it in a red circle. I did not see anything, but at the end, it looked like somebody with long hair was walking towards them. Either way, ghost hunting at night is always scary. Hey guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.